Last week we went on a little adventure. We had a lovely weather, beautiful views, stunning nature, and the cute little towns we passed on the way. Basically a perfect ride from London to Gloucester to Angenhawk and Rurock headquarters for a demo day. Do, 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 do. Few hours down and we have finally arrived. We got our goodies and food tokens and focused on enjoying our day. After meeting some familiar faces, we couldn't wait any longer. We went to see what Engine Hawk team has prepared for us. We saw some prototypes for denim products, but not too much can be shared now as it is only at the planning stages. We saw all the amazing female jackets which has been revealed on previous events and then headed up to the launch jacket demo area. HQ. Finally, we have managed to get close to here. Um, I'm looking at the jackets, and there are three which they are releasing uh, this season. But all of the others, the ones I can see, I'm very excited for those as well. And apparently, they're only coming next year. But oh my god, I am so in love with this. I just want it so much. And yeah, but as of the three which are coming out, I would say this one might be my fave. Beautiful, beautiful jacket here, and then uh, I mean, this is probably the comfiest one, and this is also a badass one. But yeah, out of this season, I think this one is my favorite. Sorry for the hair, helmet hair life, but yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Can I have some? I actually love this one, I think it's my favorite. Yeah, it's something different. We saw a cool display with jackets which inspired new designs, sketches and step-by-step -step female jackets creation process, starting with ideas and finishing with real products with consideration of female figure. Without further ado, let's see how jackets actually fit. Just a quick note, I'm size 10 and that's how well, size S fits me. Yeah, so trying on one of the jackets, the one I was just pointing out which is my favourite, um, I must say, the protection is so soft you can't even feel it and uh, yes, it's basically the same as if you would just try the jackets of previous times. Okay, seriously, whoa, I had no idea I even had the protection inside, the elbows, the spine protection, the uh, shoulders. It is so light and flexible if to compare it with what I currently have in my jacket. It's very well fought through, so the zips are quite soft as well. They have the like protection, so it doesn't bite your neck. Yeah, I honestly love this because there's so many different clothing brands you wear, and just like. And then at the bottom, I was worried that it's going to be like scratching the tank, but you actually can lift them out just a little bit, like when they zip. I mean, let's zip it up. Let's see. But, yeah, but if you like, for example, if you had a good dinner, and you're like, we, so you have a bit more space. And then you have pockets here. I mean, the pockets here are probably not going to be the most useful for me because it's tough. But overall, but yeah. the feeling is so soft. I love it. Honestly, even with the older version of protection that you have, right? Yeah. I can never feel it. It's only when it gets cold, it it's hardens. But from your body heat, it warms up. I do, I do like this one. It's quite nice. Yeah. Okay, I must say the placement of these pockets are a little bit uncomfortable and tough to access. But the design is still cool. But you know what it looks like? I Wolverine. Oh. <laughs> I have no idea why the hell did I show Spider-Man instead of Wolverine here. Let's just ignore it, okay? Yeah, they fit nicely. It reminds me of the one Hugh Jackman wears in old X-Men movies. Wolverine. Huh? Not yet. Right, so yeah, so that's also a nice to try. So zipping it up at the bottom. Gives the shape, but also very comfortable. Actually, this, these sleeves are shorter. Almost. If you have good gloves. Awesome. 
Yeah, accordion. Yeah. Accordion. <laughs> it does look good as well, I think, but I do personally prefer the M1. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So this one has thumbs as well to fold your gloves, I guess. Yeah. So it doesn't slide up. It's the hoodie. Yeah. I actually really like the Predator hoodies. It does. It is it's a, actually the most comfortable. And waterproof. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see yeah the this back. one doesn't have a zip. Mm -hmm. There. Yeah. For the hotel? For the hotel? Yeah, and then once 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 you finish with it, put that magnet. Yeah, sticks that oh. So when you're writing, it's not flopping around. Yeah, that's oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. The other people are just putting linear to fit like this one. This one for me, I would just have to have the little ones in because it's like it's up point five. Okay. It's up. But you can tie it up in the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And that's when I have realized I kind of messed up as the final actual products were in a different area. So straight after that, I actually went to the final launch area and tried on the final products. And the sleeve length you can see on the video is actually the final length, which is the same across all of the other jackets. We have also saw a stand with the protective pads. And of course I couldn't pass on the opportunity to smack something with the hammer. <laughs> and then I tried to be a bit funny. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my needs are a I'm joking. Uh, no. I also couldn't pass on the opportunity to try Rurok Atlas 4.4 model for size and feel. And I must say, you can definitely feel the difference in the padding. I couldn't say much about the fit, to be honest, as my previous helmet is a small and I tried a small here and it fits just fine. P.S. Sorry for my concentration face. I usually smile a little bit more, but I was fully merged into the analyzing mode and how it fits and how it feels and all those other bits. After checking how my companions were getting on with the male jackets, we decided to go for drinks and food. The guy at work, what are you filming? What are you filming? I didn't bring my Sony camera with me this time, so of course I had to check out what other creatives have captured. Good, good, good jacket. <laughs> good jacket. Good jacket. It's a very chilled event. We had some snacks, we had some drinks, we had some tea, and now we're gonna pop to the bathroom because of the long journey back to London. And thanks again, Engine Hawk, Rurog Org for organizing it, for letting us try the jackets again. There was some, there were some cool ruffles 
unfortunately we didn't win anything but the coolest one you could win a jacket and a helmet and another jacket so it was fantastic but not for us and then um, what else cool we got t-shirts and we got caps and um, it's always fun to visit those events and to speak with the people who people behind the brand just to find out a little bit more about the process about how everything works and it's very very interesting to see how passionate they are about the brand and what they create so thank you again for organizing it and now a journey back but yeah it's a wrap thanks for watching bye